If you need to update your deck, go to 50cards.shop. Get 5% off your next purchase when you use code NEXUS. Hey guys, welcome back to Nexus Core. And today we're going to be going over my Rebel Form Tempest deck profile. So I decided to keep Youthbird going, uh, even though it is getting a little bit expensive. Um, but this deck is kind of bonkers. So I decided to go all in and update the deck. So I'm here to show you guys what the updated deck profile looks like. So like always, we're just going to start off with the right deck because it is a standard deck. So starting off with our starter, which is the one from the trial deck. Uh, youth Falling Footsteps Youth. Same start as the other starters. Uh, grade 1, which is Determined to Break Away Youth. When you ride uh, the Grade 2 Youth on top of it, you can Soul Bless 1, Top 3, grab a youth, youth Berk, or call a Grade 2 or less. So that's really cool when you fill the board. And the grade two, which is Knight of Arden Light Youth. When a unit with the Rebel Dress ability rides, you can kind of blast one and grab a grade two or greater from your drop back to your hand. And the second skill is when it's being boosted, you can soul blast one to get 5k, which is kind of am. But the fact that you gain so much soul in this deck, you might as well use it early game. So in this deck now, using up your soul is not that big of a deal. So I would say throw a booster behind that and get that 5k. You know, be aggressive. And then lastly, I am running the Skyfall Arms as my rain ride uh, for the ride deck. So it has Rebel Dress. Uh, at the end of the battle, this unit attacked. You choose a card of Rebel Form, ride it as stand, it gets drive minus two. The second skill is Act, discard a card from your hand, look at the top three. You can add a Rebel Form or you can call a grade two or less uh, just to kind of fill your board. So I really like having that active during the turn of ride to grade three, but I know if you want to run the protocol arms, you can do that as well. Just kind of maximize your persona rides, but this is my preference. So that is it for the ride deck. Now we're moving on to our grade threes, starting off with the other three copies of Skyfall Arms because persona ride is a thing. So kind of want to maximize that. And then next up, three copies, or I'm sorry, four copies. We got to run the all four of the new Rebel Form Tempest. So what Tempest does is when it's placed on van by the Rebel Dress ability, all of your front row automatically get 5k for free. And then you can kind of blast one, look at the, reveal the top two to your opponent, choose one of your opponent's rear guards with the same grade as any of the revealed cards. They go to the bottom of the deck and then you put the revealed cards in your hand. So you're getting two free cards or kind of blast one because you can just ride this for free. And at the end of the battle, or I'm sorry, at the end of the turn, this goes back into the soul. You ride these Skyfall Arms from your soul, just like all the other Robo Form cards. This card is insanely good. Just the two free cards to hand, 5k to the front row. It's just free resources. It's basically Aura Geyser all over again. So definitely want to run for that. So moving on to our next Rebel Form card. I am running three copies of Gust. Gust is still a really good card for this deck. So what Gust does is when it's placed on Van, uh, if your opponent's Vanguard's grade three or greater, you can discard a card from your hand and this unit gains 10K and an extra drive. So you can get some drive checks. So all the Rebel form cards lose drive minus two. This one puts you up in an extra drive. Same skills, the other skill uh, at the end of the turn goes back and your soul and you re-ride the Skyfall Arms. And then I am running one copy of Zest, which came in the trial deck. So Zest is, if your Persona, uh, when it's placed, it gets 15k. If your Persona Road, it gets a crit. So that crit can be kind of threatening just because with the new grade one, um, Sequana, I think is how it's pronounced, uh, it'll give an extra drive check. So that's really cool that you can have a crit and a drive just to make it a little more threatening. So we are keeping just with the standard, um, you know, the three Skyfall main deck and a total of eight Rebel form cards in the main deck, but um, this one's just kind of more of a tech and this one is like, you know, like you search enough of the rubble form cards to make it work. And then this thing is just too good. You just have to run all four. So that's it for grade threes. We're already, well, actually almost forgot. I got one of these. So this is my tech for grade threes. So it's decisive axe dragon. During the battle, it attacks if your uh, Vanguard road by card ability. Your opponent cannot call normal units from guard to hand. So they can't use PGs when it's attacked. So that's kind of like why I run it. Also, the free 5k from 
Tempest helps us a lot to make this an 18k beater. If you get a trigger, it makes a 28, which matches triggers. Most of the grade ones in this deck are 10k boosters, so it's a 23k column, 28 with uh, Tempest, 3080 for Persona Road. It's just a really big, scary column, and this card can kind of help you close out some games. So I like to run it at the one. So now we're moving on to grade twos. <laughs> so we have to run the four copy of Schneisel. This card is kind of too good not to run in Youth Burk. Uh, when it's placed on rear, kind of boss one, look at top five. Look for a grade three with Youth Burk in its name. Add it to your hand, reveal it. Shuffle and this gets 5k. So the big thing about this, not just the search, but the fact that it shuffles, all the other Youth Burk uh, cards, the grade one, and also Skyfall Arms, they all look at top amount and they send them to the bottom. So if you sent down a bunch of triggers, so this helps you at least refresh your deck. So that way you can get those triggers shuffled back into your deck. Oh, and also has a second skill, which is when this unit attacks, if your Vanguard was placed by ability of by riding of grade three, you can choose one of your Vanguards and it gets 5K. So after you perform your Revel Dress, you can swing and give your Vanguard another five just to make it a, a bigger Vanguard column. All right, then moving on to grade twos. I'm running one copy of Verde. Verde. Um, what it does is if you have Vanguard Youth in its name, it gets five shield. It's a super simple card, but the reason I like to run it, and a lot of people are running this card, not for the artwork, <laughs> um, is just the simple getting an extra five guard. So that's what it does. If you have Vanguard Youth in its name, this gets 5k shield. So that counts your whole ride line. So you can guard early with this, which is nice. It's continuous, so if you intercept with it, it keeps that five shield, and you can guard with it from hand. And since you're getting a lot of hand from Tempest, it's just a really decent shield card. So you throw it on the board, you intercept big, uh, you guard big early. It's just a nice defensive card to have for, for now. And then my next grade two, I'm still running the one copy of Maple. So Maple is the Thergora, uh, the Greya uh, Glitter card. But we use it for the first effect, which is when your great theory grader is placed during the right phase, if you do not have a maple on the board, you call this from the drop zone. So even though this only works during the right phase, and you know, when you persona ride, I still like it as an early game discard target so that if I'm discarding for my grade one or my grade two during the ride deck, the minute I ride the three, I just pull this out and it's a free unit. So I like being able to have free units and you discard a lot in this game. So you know, it's just another discard target, but it's a, a beat stick, which is nice. So it doesn't hurt to run it. So that was it for our grade two. So now we're gonna move on to our grade ones. I'm gonna start off with a brand new card, which is already super busted, the Sequana. So I'm running four copies of that. So what it does is during your turn, if you have a Vanguard with Youth Burke, this gets 2K. So it's a 10K beater for free, just automatically. Second skill, when your unit is placed on Van by a Revel Dress, you can put this into your soul, choose your Vanguard and increase or de decrease its drive to one. So your Tempest getting drive plus one, uh, your uh, Zest is getting drive plus one. And specifically with Gust, what you can do is you Revel Dress, use Sequana first, move to soul, its drive becomes one, and then you use Gust skill afterwards to discard a card and give it 10k and drive plus one. So it went to drive one and drive plus one. So now it's twin drive again for free or for discard one essentially. So being able to go into gust with this, super, super good. So we definitely want to run four just because it fills your soul. It's free, like it literally just moves the soul and gives you more resources and uh, gives your van an extra drive and it's a 10k booster. So you put it behind your Vanguard and that's a you know, 23k column with that persona riding, which is nice. So Sequana is a very sought after card for Youth Burke. Next up for grade ones, this card is also insanely good with Youth Burke. Uh, it's also really good with their Greya if you want to run into that as well. What this does is this card cannot be ridden and cannot be normal called to rear from your hand because it is a 10k booster automatically, it's just 10k base. This card, when this card is discarded from your hand during your turn, if your Vanguard is grade three or greater, you Soul Blast one, call this to a back row rear. So if you're always discarding in this deck, either for Gust, for Skyfall Arms' skill, 
um, just so that you can, you know, proc off abilities. So if you just discard those Sky Full Arms, you Soul Blast one, call it to a back row. It's just another free card to call back to the board. And since Sequana gives you soul by moving to soul and the fact that every time you end your turn after you rubble dress, you get a unit in your soul, you have plenty of soul to work with. So the reason I'm only running three is because it calls itself back. So the minute you draw into it, you just discard it, boom, pull it back out. So, you know, it works out. You can run it at the four, but the reason I'm running three, I'm running the one copy of Reedy. So what Reedy does is soul blast two. Until the end of the turn, you increase the power of your triggers by 5k. So soul blast two, every trigger gets 5k. And you're gaining soul from Sequana, from your Revel dresses, and um, just being able to kind of just turbo out your deck thanks to Tempest and search these out. So you can do this, you know, not multiple times because it just turns the drive into one regardless, but you're gonna use Sequana every single turn. You're just gonna have so much soul by the end of the game or near the end that you can just soul blast four Give all your triggers an extra 10 and because you're gaining extra drive checks thanks to Sequana, um, you're getting three to four drive checks a turn so you're bound to get at least one trigger and if you get two that's a 15 to 20k trigger for both of them it just makes really really big boards and you might as well use the soul you have so much to work with so that's why i'm running the one copy of reading and then for our pgs four cop i'm sorry three copies of the, uh, you know, the D series PG, which is basically uh, if you have one or less in hand, you don't have to pay a cost, but if you have two or more in hand, you have to discard a card from your hand when you PG. And then the one copy of Elementaria Sanctitude, um, which is basically anti-gray fours. If your opponent's Vanguard is triple drive, uh, this ability can be played without paying the cost. The cost is when you put it in the order zone, it's a blitz order. If your Vanguard's grade three or less, Choose one of your units and it cannot be hit, and then you remove this card from the game. It counts as a Sentinel and you can only run one Elementary Sanctitude in the deck. So we're running it with our three other regular PGs. So it's free against grade fours, which is nice, and uh, it gets around guard restrict like Flagbird. So when your opponent says you have to guard from, can't guard from hand, you just go, oh, Blitz Order. I'm not guarding, I'm casting a Blitz Order. So it's, uh, it's definitely a good card to run in any of your standard decks that don't run grade fours. All right, so that was it for the normal units. Now we're moving on to our triggers, starting off. The over trigger. So this is our uh, United Sanctuary, uh, I guess we call this like world origin or world original. So this is for uh, the US or for English. Additional effect is you can also perform drive checks for the battles your rigor attacks, which is the same as our Martinoa. Um, it's just an alt art and it's nice and gold and shiny, so I like it. Then we're running for Blade Feather. It's the crit that moves the soul at the end of the battle that it boosted, and you get something 2k, so might as well. It's a crit with a skill and it fills your soul, so fills cost for a reedy, which is nice. Then, because the deck is super aggro, we're running the full eight crits. So we're running another four copies of the Volit Volition Rigor Dragon. You know, I've never read this card. I'm not very good at reading in general, so that's a really nice artwork. Uh, so yeah, we're doing the eight crit, and instead of the draws, we're actually doing the fronts this time. So we're running the skill front, which is Bard of Heavenly Song Alpac. If your opponent's Vanguard's grade three or greater, this gets five shield, so it's a 20k shield. Um, since Tempest lets you draw a bunch of cards anyways, and you're getting an extra bunch of drive checks, you don't need the draw triggers. So we're running the fronts for more shield and more power. And then lastly, run those out of the way a little bit. I'm running two copies of Hardiness to your Sorceress. This is the one where if your opponent's Vanguard gains a crit by an ability, not by a trigger, you can get an extra 15 shield. Or when the attacking unit gains an extra crit. So against Bruce, Babzarga, um, sometimes against Youthbrook, they go into Zest. So, uh, or with Ava, when the, uh, the grade three, whose name is slipping my mind at the moment, uh, gains the, gains a crit with Ava when it's, when it's being searched and placed by a card ability, you can use this to increase the shield by 15k just because, you know, Ava's really 
relevant in the meta right now. So I'm running two of those and then two of the regular heals just because they're just, you know, 15K shield heals. And I feel like I have enough hand where I don't really need to worry about multi-attacking. So I'm not running the other uh, heal, which gains power if a unit restands. So I'm really comfortable with this trigger lineup. So this is what I've been working with. All right, so that was it for the deck profile. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I'm hoping to maybe get some games in soon to show you guys how this deck plays. It's really, really, really consistent. Yeah, I can understand why this deck is so expensive. I mean, their artwork is insane. The skill is insane. And the support around this card is crazy. I'm surprised they're still printing more youth brick support in set nine but I already got that covered for you guys as well. So I'm guaranteed to get set nine youth break support for you to show off in the future. So that's pretty much it. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you on the next one.